I'm going to do another brainstorm science video. Today we are going to be doing our yeast experiment to see which substance we yeast grows best in. Or which um, conditions, isn't it? Because it's we're gonna now you've got oh four glasses of water here, Fee. What are you gonna do? That's cold. Cold. Hot boiling. Yeah. Warm. And that's going to be warm with cling film mm. on it. And so you've got some yeast there, I see, but you've got some sugar as well. Is it yeah, a so spoonful of sugar in each glass? Doesn't matter. Oh, I've got some in the cling film. There we go. Make sure it's a similar amount, you know, same amount in each, because we don't want... Yeah, vaguely the same. <laughs> now, I wonder why we're putting sugar in here. Maybe that's the thing the yeast is going to eat. <laughs> the yeast is going to eat the sugar. That's its food. And it also needs need to open oxygen up. normally. Ah, oh, right, now. Do you want to stir those around? Yeah, I can't actually with one hand get the lid off. Mix it in a bit while Mummy attempts to get the lid off without spilling it everywhere. That's it, next one. Move on to the next one. Stir it in. Yeah, yeast, do you know what kind of... It's a living organism. Is it a vegetable? No. What is it? Fee, do you remember what yeast is? Same as mushrooms and yeah, mould. It's a single cell organism. And it's uh, something beginning with F. Fungi. Fungi. <laughs> right. Excellent. Okay, we want two teaspoons of yeast in each glass, because that's the equivalent of seven grams. So that's one for that one. And another one. And then do the next one. One. Did you put two in there? Yeah. So you want another one in there and another one in there. And then two in that one, end one as well. That's one. And two. Now, we need to tear a bit of cling film yeah. off, Got some sugar and I need to find the marker pen. I just borrowed a marker pen off Daddy, and now I've lost it. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's the marker pen gone? Ah. And, oh, this genius. is actually mine, I bought it, and then Dad wants He to nicked it, it off you. He always claims no. that we... Right, mark where the water is now, quickly, on the glass. Nice thick. Wait, where? Where the water... Yeah, where the water line is. That's it. And mm. the next one. He's marking it, and we've got a little sheet. That's it. And now this one, these to the warm water, this one's going to get clinged. So do you know how to get some cling off, or do you, do you want Mummy to do that? I'll do it. Let's show people our, we've got this little chart, and we're going to leave it for about five minutes and come back and measure how thick the foam is. We put the same amount of water in each glass. On future then it said 200 mil, but our glasses are too small. I had to go and buy special tall glasses at Tesco's. You can get them for £1.50, Tesco value. That's it, cling the bottom, uh, that one, at the end. Make sure it's all covered. That's it. Now we'll come back in five minutes and see what's happened. Okie dokie, it's now ten minutes later. And what's well, happened? That is just falling down on the camera for us. What? Look, look. Oh what yes, doing on the we side. had a bit of a a bit of a to do because we realised that our warm warm water wasn't warm enough. Mm. So we swapped phone. it, and now yeah, it's a close up of the phone. <laughs> foam close up. Ew, ew. Yes, thank you. So the cold. Just have a little wee. Be. What's that? Has the yeast grown a lot in the cold water? No, it just went... Yeah, nothing. And the boiling water straight from the kettle? Ew, it's just a kind of mush yeah. at the bottom. So it doesn't... Yeast does not like cold water. 
Yeast does not like boiling water, but yeast loves warm water. And I think it's using the it uses the oxygen to help it eat it's eight the sugars. Centimeters. A minute ago it was seven. What are all the bubbles, do you think? Do you think it's carbon dioxide? Maybe. Carbon dioxide. That's what happens when you make bread. When I make bread, I have to use warm water in the mix so that it doesn't kill the yeast, but it helps it to... And I put sugar in the bread mix as well, don't I? And you do this as well. We put sugar in the bread mix and it eats the yeast eats the sugar and it's it produces CO2. It's, keep, it's still growing. Yeah, that thing is still growing. This one has only just got underway because it wasn't warm enough. But he seems to be doing quite well, this one. There's a bit of froth going on. Because he's going to run out of oxygen at some point because we've got the cling film. Sometimes bakers, when they leave a bread to rise... They put cling film yeah, in and so I, it doesn't overrise. Exactly, so it doesn't go too ballistic. So we think the point of this experiment was to figure out what environment yeast likes. See how big. Well. And we think, we, what does it like? It likes warm, doesn't it? It's already another a millimetre up. Oh, and I predict this one will carry on. This one is now rising. Quite a bit faster now since we've got the right temperature water. We've got the same amount of water, but we cocked up on the temperature. Uh, it says it's meant to be body temperature, but I don't really know how you measure that. It felt warm to us, but um, originally it wasn't warm enough. Apparently, body yeast temperature is very... would be 36 degrees yeah, Celsius. Yeah, we don't have a thermometer to measure, do we? Yeah. Mental note: get a get a chemistry thermometer. Oh, we probably do have one upstairs somewhere. Look, this one is doing something now. This is the one we cocked up. So obviously it uses oxygen to grow, but it's got a limited supply. And apparently no. yeast... Ew, it's on my arm. Apparently yeast also does anaerobic digestion. Once the oxygen has run out, it'll carry on eating. And that's, that's what's going on when you Basically, make... Basically, will it hold its breath? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the scientific explanation for it. So... We can reveal that yeast grows best in warm conditions. And obviously, we've given it its food. It's got its sugar. It's got some oxygen. And it likes warmth best. So there we go. And that one's still going. It's definitely rised a lot. In yeah, the it's still going. Okie doke. And that's the yeast experiment. Bye. Let's just leave it. Yeah. Okay, this is part three. We've had to come back because there have been further developments. Two further developments. Felix, what have the two further developments been? Let's look at the cold first. Aha! It's cold. Finally! God, that took a while. Yeah. So that's and about also, 20 minutes later. My favourite development. Oh, this is the one that we had to tip out because it wasn't the right um, warmth. So he started later. This one... Look, it's pushing up. Yeah, it's pushing up and it's trying to escape down the side. So even with the cling film, that yeast is going for it. And even though Felix, on the warm glass, he sort of smushed all that down and it just came right back up again and it's still going. Oh yeah, we've pushed that down and it will keep, keep going still. So we just thought we'd better come back because look, the cold ones finally started doing something. After about 20 minutes or so. Then let's just show you it in action. What I did is the uh, hot water is... That's a warm one. Yeah, warm one that is. Warm one. And it just comes back up again. And it comes back up again within a few minutes. Let's see. Not as low as it went last time. Has this one finally stopped yet? No, it looks like it's still going because it's... Feels so Such weird. Fun. Oh damn, that feels like something's pushing. Does it? No, no, that if must I... still be the gas that's coming out. Oh, the, the the cold one. Actually, people say sometimes if you that... don't want to make bread immediately, but you want to get it on the go, you can put the dough to rise in the fridge, and it will take longer. So if you wanted to go out for the afternoon, come back and make pizzas. You should make your dough in the morning, stick it in the fridge, maybe, and then when you get back, it'll be the right size or something. Mm -hmm. That is three centimetres after about 20, 20 or 25 minutes. So the cold wasn't a complete dead loss, it was just slower. Yeah. Okie doke.